Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of Imperialism as the nation of Phoenix. We are now in the final war, for lack of a better term, uh, with Deneb. We have all the techs in the game. The last two were the battle cruisers, battleships, dreadnoughts, and the uh, tanks and mechanized infantry. And we have them, and Neb, oh, they want peace. Hell no. Okay, this province is considerably more defended. Yeah, this province, <laughs> this province won't be breached. Uh, let's just say that. Yeah, this province, uh, yeah, um, retreat all units, yes. Uh, retreat doesn't mean move forward. Why did they move forward to retreat? Uh, okay. They could have moved straight back. So why did they move into firing range? First. <laughs> Note to self. Retreat is too difficult an order for the AI. Okay, now I know that. I don't think we lost any units, but we got a lot of damage for it. Ugh. Well, that uh, was annoying. This province, on the other hand, is a pushover. So, I'm going to trust the AI to actually be able to conquer this one. So, yeah, that other neighboring province is where he's stuck. Uh, he put all his artillery in, a, in that other province. All of it, it looks like. And this one is also just one that you can take. Okay, retreat two days to an order. Ugh. That's gonna annoy me. But yeah, that other province is definitely one where we can consider uh, doing some shenanigans. Oh. Well, I can't do anything with you because you're too far behind. I believe I can roll forward and just destroy you. Definitely gonna do that. Blammo. Oh, you destroyed it in one shot. Wow. I like tanks now. Maybe I'll build a, a great number of tanks to break that massive amount of artillery he had. I might well have to do that. Use engineers to dig out his defenses. And then just... Yeah, let's we'll see what we do. We might have to do some shenanigans. If he's gonna stack that many units in one province. For all I know, that could be his entire army. And he probably put it there to defend against Ordu. So our alliance kind of backfired in that regard. Well, the hope was that they'd fight each other and assume that, you're just, that it's going to enter a positional war instead. Okay, so that one backfired, but that's okay. These two succeeded. We're just going to move up, up, up that. We're going to keep up the push towards the capital. It's going to be interesting to see what he does then. Um, nothing on the high seas. His fleet is still just cruising around there. We'll have to see if it is up to something. You tell me I only have one square left to prospect? There were tons of them earlier. Hmm. I thought I had half a ton of... Or maybe only checks on the own continent. I don't know. Something odd there. Let's see, we still haven't connected this one either. Okay, so there and a depot and yeah, it's fine. And we're gonna connect a harbor up here. He's gonna keep building to make a depot out in the desert. Why did I put you here? Oh right, oh, darn it. What did I just do? 
What did I just do? Oh, darn it. I moved him somewhere stupid, didn't I? Ugh. I probably did. And I'm not gonna bother tracking him down. That's fine, I'm gonna fix that next turn. Uh. Okay, so oh, we have the mobile unit there. The problem now is that he'll be free to counterattack us in two locations. Let's see, I have 10 artillery here. That's fine, I don't think he's gonna take Ordun. Um, I want this army to move to Dundee. We can sort out what we're gonna do from there. These are just defending, really. Doesn't look like he's putting units over here, and I doubt he's gonna do that. He's probably gonna focus his defenses on his homeland, which is the clever thing to do. Um, there's no real defenses there. Let's keep pushing up towards the capital. They're gonna stay right there. In case he tries something. I don't think he's gonna do that. I think he's just parking his army there to protect against Audune. Yeah, I'm not sure why the transport grid is suddenly resetting. Maybe again another port for the goods over in uh, former uh, Paragon. Because that seemed to be where he decided to blockade. Or maybe it's just goods that we just conquered. Could be that too. We could have gotten a port. Certainly got more goods to transport. And we, yeah, that, oh my goodness. More goods than we can actually transport. Yeah, we definitely caught, mm, captured one of his ports. I'm gonna build quite a few rail cars. 200 rail cars. I'm gonna adjust that next turn. And I'm gonna build a few more ships. One of each. And you know what? I'm thinking... I'm thinking we're gonna make more tanks. They're pretty darn powerful and they seem to take almost no damage compared to anything else. So yeah, useful to break the enemy line, or restore a shadow line, and yeah, we want them. And that's all that fun stuff is fine. Hmm. Yeah, his capital is just a few provinces away, so the more we push, the better. Right, he does have a port, so that's why we're suddenly gaining all the goods he had in these provinces. That's good news for us. Uh, yeah, those troops were redeploying, that's fine. I don't think he's going to do anything there. And I don't see any build-up uh, along these borders. No, I don't see any. Uh, what about this fleet of his? Are they doing anything stupid? No. Few ships just cruising around there. Not doing much. We still haven't found this navy. And I do want to find it and destroy it if possible. And he's going to counterattack from this mega stack that he has parked here. Hmm. That is the bulk of his army. There is no such thing as supply lines in this game, best as I recall, so even if we surround him, that's not gonna impact him in any way. We are attacking north, that's what we wanted to do. Yeah, we can autoplay this one. Go Bismarck. Yeah, yeah, they, they do call it Otto, okay? As in Otto from Bismarck. 
uh, instead of auto, as in car. So yeah, um, I'm always amused by that. And he's trying to reinforce. Haha, <laughs> too late. That means your artillery is forfeit. Kaboom. Here comes me tanks and one shots your. Yeah, they do. They actually do one shot them. <laughs> Mobile artillery aren't quite as strong, but they certainly do enough damage. Especially to artillery in the open. Artillery in the open. Yeah, it's not gonna last long. I probably should do the rain ground guns first. As much as I love the mobile artillery and hate to see the enemy with it, it is probably better to destroy its long, longest range guns. I can't reach, can I? Actually I can, good. So we're gonna get at least one of his radar guns. The other one is probably too far away. I can get a shot in before he runs away. And he's still alive. He still hasn't been demoralized, which is rather... No, that's the railroad gun's range, of course. That's why he still has some ability to fire at us. That one's too far away, unfortunately, but we'll fire at the infantry. And I don't think we're going to be able to kill the infantry. Okay, you can't do anything. You can not, not necessary. And he's retreating. Not going to help you. Goodbye. And the rest of you can just kill him. It sort of irks me that the auto-deployment auto doesn't deploy them according to uh, the turn, so that the ver ones that have their turn first should be at the front lines and so on, but it doesn't do that, which is kind of annoying. Okay, we took that province, and you beat back that little invasion of his. Got away with one infantry, and that was all he got away with. The rest was destroyed. Okay, right. Oh, right. That's why, because this is a colony, though. And that's why you could only find one more square. I'll start prospecting over here. We have a lot more oil wells to fix. Depot up there to get all the good stuff there. Um, not much for you to do. You're the one that I moved, right? That I just stupidly moved. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Go up here, build a fort. Oh, you're probably that one. Yeah, it's you. You are the culprits. I wanted you to build a depot right there. Return, one square. No more mines, so the miners have nothing to do. And by the looks of it, our arrival has improved all his mines to level 3. So I probably should just start disbanding the miners. They are probably not going to be of much use to us. Ah, the extra two tanks. And we are going to move those tanks over here. Well, this batch is still going to move up. You are going to... You know, kill that and then we're going to redistribute. You're just going to sit here on defense, or you... You're going to join the protective fleet. Well, we should have got at this industry at this point. which I'm very happy about. And the real funny part is as soon as his capital falls, that should make all his 
uh, former allies neutral. That's going to be an interesting move to see what happens then. And if Ordun actually managed to get anyone over to neutral, we're just going to kill Ordun as well. I would like to think that the game ends once everyone else are dead. We shall see. And the factories are producing at full speed. Yeah, right, ships first. Now we're actually running out low on steel. Wow, interesting. Make one more tank. I like the tanks. I could build mech infantry too, I guess, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, they're <laughs> attacking nearby, nearly suicidal without. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be attacking with infantry. Still call you excellent. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, so we're going to do a quick check for naval invasions. I very much doubt that he has much more navy than one ship we ha he had. Had? It's gone. Okay. Well, that's good news for us. Don't know where that ship went. and I can't see any ships. Still blockading his port. He's not doing anything with it. We're reinforcing there. These are defenseless. So we could po possibly counterattack. I think he still has the bulk of his army there. Uh, he has a pretty sizable army up in his hometown as well. Which is to be expected, really. I would protect that if I were him. He has not sent forces to his colonies. Which I am rather happy about. Okay, continuing. Our forces are attacking in the north, that's fine, deploy. And he has nothing there, so... Bismarck, do your thing. The fun thing is that if he's protecting that lower province instead of his capital, this is going to be a pushover. Well, it already is, I suppose, but and he's counterattacking with pretty much nothing. Forward. Kaboom. Ah, that lovely kaboom sound. Though I thought the barrels didn't have artillery pieces. I thought they had just big machine guns, the early tanks. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's the same model that they showcase in the Indiana Jones movie. It certainly looks like the same model. Come on, destroy that artillery. And then destroys troops as well. I'm kind of irritated that we haven't gotten a naval battle. But I'd like to see that. I'd like to see our ships in proper action rather than just fighting his merchant marine. Which at this point has been pretty much sunk. So I assume that since we've destroyed his merchant marine, he just has his fleet at port. It's not doing anything. Get deployed there too, and he has no defenses. Go Bismarck. Yay. Okay, uh, still no battle at sea. Ordune is short on food, yeah. Not much I can do about that, Ordune. I'm selling food, but don't know if you're buying. And if you aren't actively 
taking advantage of this war, I can't really help you. Okay, this one has gotten a porch. Wait a second, can't I build a depot? Huh. No, it does have a depot. I think. Really not sure. Um, connect down to Peabody. We'll find out. And these towns are fortified already. Probably need a second port over here. Uh, you haven't industrialized. That has to be fixed. And I think it's time to just disband a few of the miners. I'm going to disband three of them. The last one I'm going to send home. Just going to sit pretty there. One more tank. I'm going to send that somewhere. Probably... to do the nab. Well, all the forces here. Yeah, I assume that he's gonna... No, actually his capital is pretty lightly defended. Let's go. We're just gonna stay here. Uh, this force is gonna be redistributed. Uh, and one of the generals. Those you guys are gonna go here. Why doesn't it sh shift back to the rest of the army? Uh Okay, five of you and the general move here. And the remaining five go here, just to see if we can prevent him from counterattacking. Now to get all the goods home. More ships. Steel production is going up. Very good. Oil production is stable. I'm going to make another cannon because we can. So as soon as we take out this capital, which could happen next turn, all these colonies will become independent, which could be very interesting. Um, or Dune should be more hated with all of them. So hopefully we'll be able to grab every single one of them. It kind of depends. I kind of expect that... Well, it isn't as much de as defended as I would have thought. And it irks me that I still haven't got my nail engagement. Even with our lovely, lovely ships. Actually, he has one ship. One, sh one ship. Is he trying to defend against me now? I think he is. This could be interesting. Would be interesting if we got an, one uh, naval battle in. Deploy our troops. Oh, come on. Seriously? This is his capital. <laughs> Okay, your capital is forfeit, my mate. Uh, forfeit, mate. Yeah, we're definitely gonna attack. I uh, don't care. You can take a shot. That's the only shot you're ever gonna take. Because now I'm gonna destroy ya. And I don't dare have this O2 Bismarck. Because he doesn't understand when to push it. This is definitely when we push it. If on by some miracle he manages to uh, kill one of my mobile artillery, that's certainly worth it. So 
So yeah, they, I assume that they focused so much on protecting the provinces near Audune that they kind of didn't protect any other provinces. And now it's just have to suicide charge people again left, so I can do that by automation. They're gonna be pretty beat up by the time they get removed. Oh, they're gonna be completely routed, that's fine. Uh, oh, I didn't know I was wrong, darn it. I thought that was the capital, I moved to the wrong province. Doh! Okay, that explains why it was so lightly defended. Oh, yeah, that certainly explained it. Doh! <laughs> oh, that was stupid of me, because that means he's gonna get one turn where he can move forces back. And he has undoubtedly done so. Oh, I thought, of course, the no, dough. No. It has a depot down there. Because it's, it's a port. Ah. Uh, but this one isn't connected, so. There. I suppose. Uh, I suppose that's not necessary. We have connections in the north there. You would just need to fortify, right? So. You can join the effort down here. Maybe even over here. Yeah, sure, you can go over here and start fortifying and stuff. That's fine. That is a depot. Uh, yeah, connect 12th at the very least. No new tasks for you, so I can sleep you down. Yeah, so I moved to the wrong province, I thought. <laughs> yeah, what a mistake to make, huh? Yeah, he's definitely reinforced now. He moved everything back to his capital, which was to be expected. So this one is now pretty defenseless. Uh, that was stupid, that was stupid. Okay, in that case, I guess we're gonna move forward. Um, I guess we're gonna have to shore up the defenses near his capital. Um, you're gonna move here. And you're just gonna take out that one. Uh, you're a new artillery, yeah, that's fine. I probably want to make more tanks then, because we're gonna need more tanks in order to breach uh, that rather potent arsenal of his. Let's see, if we take this province, this won't matter. I'm moving in some forces up there. There are five artillery pieces here. I move there. Move there and then I'm gonna mop up the remaining provinces here. Once he's down to nothing, he should be. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Deneb actually tries to grab a province. They could. We will see. And still no naval engagements. While our fleet is being built up again. No room for one more tank. of steel, but I don't want to upgrade my industries at this stage. It's just not going to be worth it. Yeah, we still haven't destroyed his forces. Not enough of them. Um, I'm thinking of switching orders around to that instead of blockading. Just want to see if I can actually catch his navy. I mean, we know he has a ship there. And the rest of his fleet seems to be at port. I 
I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus the uh, I'm gonna take that province first, and then I'm gonna move all the guns back here, and then we're gonna push for the Neb city. It's gonna be a bloodbath, unfortunately, uh, but that's kind how it's gonna be. But that'll happen in the next episode. So uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll continue to do so.